So the Google Pixel Buds have been out for a while now and there's a ton of different reviews if you want to go and watch them on YouTube and I'll link some in the description down below. However, not everyone agrees that they are actually that great. Coming in at £159 here in the UK with three different cars to choose from, you can actually see that a ton of people that have already done some reviews aren't necessarily that impressed. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at an alternative that is a lot cheaper, but are they actually any good? Well, let's take a look. So believe it or not guys, these are not the Google Pixel Buds, but they are the VNAX Pogo Wireless Sports Earbuds. And let's get this out of the way right at the start, these look and feel exactly like the Google Pixel Buds, even down to the included cable here which is integral to actually how you fit them in your ear to get that perfect fit. So as you can see here, there's no separate ear fins to get the perfect fit that you need. It's actually part of the cable that is integrated to actually allow you then to change the size to get the fit that you're looking for. Now it's quite an intelligent way to do it and it actually allows you to get that really nice fit. However, the shape of the earbuds isn't necessarily the best and I still couldn't get that airtight fit to block out any sound or to stop them from falling out if I was going on a run, for example. Okay, not necessarily a run, but at least an energetic walk. They do come with an included carrying case as you can see here and inside you're going to find everything that you need. You've got three different styles of ear tips. You've got small, medium, large and also a clip so if you do use it for sports then they're not going to be falling around. You've also got a micro USB cable which is a really nice short cable and this just allows you to actually charge the earbuds themselves whether that's with a power brick, a laptop or an external battery pack. And speaking of battery, you're going to get around 8 hours of playback but again that all depends on the volume that you're using them at. You've also got a really nice tangle free cable and no matter what I've done, I couldn't actually tangle the cable or get it to knot or anything like that. So if you do need to chuck these into a sports bag for example, you're not going to have any issues using them straight out the bag. One thing that I really like in headphones is also magnets. Yeah bitch! Magnets! Oh! And these headphones clip together really nicely so if you do want to have them around your neck and you don't need to worry about them moving, then magnets come in really handy for those sorts of occasions. The inline remote works extremely well with volume up and down, play, pause and also a multi-function button and the micro USB charger is just on the side. Now no one's going to confuse them with Pixel Buds because of this gigantic branding but you do also have some built-in microphones as well for taking and receiving calls. So overall in regards to the build quality and the fit and finish I've got no issues whatsoever and you can pick them up for around $64.99 however at the moment you can get them for as low as $30 on Amazon and they're going to be linked in the description down below. Now one of the main features with the Google Pixel Buds is the translate feature and no unfortunately these earbuds don't have that built in but I found a really good alternative. And yeah, you guessed it, it's just the standard Google Translate application which is available on both iOS and Android and for me it does seem a little bit nicer using the application as opposed to the actual Pixel Buds. So you can say something very simple, for instance where is the airport and it's then going to translate that and speak it for you in your desired language, really simple to use and a little bit more convenient than the earbuds. Again, saying something like where are the taxis at, again it's going to give you all the information that you need, allow you to then just hold your phone in front of the the person in front of you and they can then speak back super simple and again available for everybody. But now on to the sound quality of the earbuds themselves and I was actually quite surprised at how they sounded. Now they're not necessarily going to blow you away with the sound quality that it outputs as they are just Bluetooth headphones but the bass was quite good, the mids and trebles were okay and in general in regards to the quality of music it wasn't all that bad, obviously it depends on your streaming service and the quality that you've got it set at. Now for me though I listened to a ton of different music and I didn't really have any issues whatsoever apart from when I was listening to podcasts. For me the voices just sounded a little bit strange and even when you increase the volume there was a little bit of crackle which you didn't get with music so I did find that a bit weird but overall in terms of sound quality they are actually quite good but again with headphones you need to try them out for yourself to see if they're going to suit you. And that's going to do it guys for this video. As always, all links are going to be in the description down below for some video reviews of the Google Pixel Buds and also to pick up these specific headphones yourselves from Amazon or the official site itself. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video.